at this stage I'm going to have to conclude that God, if there is such a thing, must be mocking Nainania. You see, Nainania has been predicting a cataclysmic earthquake to happen on the 22nd of March of this year. And that, of course, is not going to happen. But to make things worse, now there has been a significant earthquake today, two days too early in Mexico. Now we're talking about a magnitude 7.4 to 7.6 earthquake, and that's a significant earthquake. And fingers crossed, it looks so far that the damage is pretty minimal and that so far it looks like nobody or at least very few people have been hurt as a result of this earthquake. So not only is it far less than anything cataclysmic, it's two days too early for our prediction and it's not cataclysmic at all. Yeah, things like that happen. Now, Nainania has been playing a very clever game and I want you to show, to be very aware of what she's trying to do here. Now, she knows that on the 22nd of this year, nothing's gonna happen. And come back to me in three days time to tell me that, yes, I told you so. Nothing's gonna happen on the 22nd of March, 2012, at least not when it comes to cataclysmic earthquakes. But Nainania has been trying to stretch it has been trying to spread the risk a little bit here, has been trying to delay the inevitable. And the inevitable will happen on the 22nd of December of this year, after the whole Mayan prophecy nonsense has fizzled out and not happened. But until then, she is claiming that if this cataclysmic earthquake isn't happening on the 22nd of March, the closer it happens to the 21st of December 2012, the worse it's going to get. Now, again, I have to reiterate to you. Watch her videos and see that she is talking about real cataclysms. So do not be fooled if she starts getting all excited about some magnitude 6.2 earthquake happening somewhere in Papua New Guinea. Because those are a dime a dozen. Those you can expect almost 50 of in a year. You can expect about 15 to 17 magnitude 7 to 7.99 earthquakes in a single year. So if she starts pointing at a magnitude 7 earthquake in June and claiming that this has anything to do with a prophecy, please do me a favor and laugh at the woman because she's being ridiculous. There should be about 15 of those this year alone. And that would make it an average year. We're still waiting for the one magnitude 8 earthquake that we can reasonably expect this year to happen. It may not happen. There are some years in which there are no magnitude Earth 8 earthquakes. But then again, look at something like 2007, in which there were four. Now, 2007 has never been claimed by any of these doomsayers to have been a significant end times year. So must we expect five magnitude 8 earthquakes before this becomes in any way significant? Or should we just wait for that cataclysmic earthquake magnitude 10 or higher? That's also never going to happen.